late 1997, there was the discovery of a new continent that exists between the Hawaiian Islands and the coast of California. This newly formed continent, which is approximately two times the size of Texas, is not one that is comprised of land. Disturbingly, it is the result of an estimated 3.5 million tons of floating plastic garbage that continuously circles in the northern Pacific Ocean. There is a particular section of the northern Pacific known as the Pacific Gyre that constantly spins in a vortex, effectively trapping the plastic and anything else that floats into it. Since plastic is not biodegradable, it will continue to float for centuries before it is broken down by any natural means. Due to the effects of the sun, wind, and waves, the plastic disintegrates into small flakes that are being ingested by a variety of sea creatures. The United Nations Environment Program estimates that plastic debris kills more than 100,000 marine mammals and 1 million seabirds every year. You might be wondering where does all this plastic come from? Studies have shown that approximately 80% comes from land and the other 20% from ships at sea. The bottom line is this massive plastic continent is an environmental catastrophe with impacts that are yet unknown. What can be done to change things? That's a good question and one that I'm not even sure there's an answer to. I guess the best thing to do is to try to limit the amount of plastic you purchase and whenever possible, use the three R's. Reduce, reuse, and recycle. From the pale and downtrodden And the words they say which we won't understand Don't accept that what's happening Is just a case of all the suffering